Hey guys, Dios are here. So it's been a while since I've done one of these videos expressing myself, doing what I love doing best, but it also has been an interesting year. I mean, for, for us that are moms, you know, with this whole pandemic, we're not just moms now, but we also have the teacher title, which first and foremost, I have to give a big thanks to all of those teachers, doctors, medical assistants, nurses, firefighters, mailman, mail lady, to all of you guys putting your lives in jeopardy out there to serve us to, so that we can still be in good health or get our packages, the people from Amazon. Thank you. You are very, very valuable. You matter and you are also a dreamer. So today I'm making this video to remind you that you can't ever stop dreaming. Advancing years ago, the only people on earth were monkeys. And they said, we'll never walk erectus, we'll never use tools, we'll never talk. But one monkey said, oh yeah, well I'm talking right now. That monkey was a dreamer. Now fast forward 500 years, the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers, they decided that they were going to create a flying machine, which everybody shouted, you idiots, you fools, that's never going to work because plywood obviously weighs more than air. And the Wright brothers, they shouted back, no it doesn't. The Wright brothers were also dreamers. Oh, and what do you tell me about the Earls of Sandwich and Sir Francis Bacon? Had it not been for them, the BLT will merely be a lettuce and tomato sandwich. So they were also dreamers and sandwich makers. Then you have Vincent Van Gogh. Everyone shouted to him, you'll never be a great artist. You only have one ear. And you know what he said? I can't hear you. Vincent Van Gogh was also a dreamer. And then you have Louis Pasteur that turned cheese into medicine. Hell a dreamer. And now I'm gonna jump into Benjamin Franklin. People said, you can't fly a kite in a rainstorm. And Ben said, yes you can, if you have an electric kite. He was an awesome dreamer. Oh, and how about the man that broke more bones than any man in history? Evil Knievel. That man was a definite dreamer. So moving forward, as an Afro-Cuban American human being, I have to say that I am so proud of where my roots and ancestors come from. Why am I saying this? Because the movie Black Panther was a big deal for me. For me, for my kids, for my friends, hell, for the entire world. So I would like to thank Chadwick Boseman for showing us that there are many avenues for us. His role, gave us hope and confidence. A man who fought colon cancer for four years and still strive to make and leave a legacy had a dream. It was the honor of his career to bring T'Challa to life in Black Panther. So Chadwick Boseman had a dream, was a believer and a leader. Wakanda forever. Okay, and last but not least, we have Joanne Suarez best known as the Osa. So, after having my second stroke, I was told by very experienced and knowledgeable doctors that unfortunately, there was a 75% chance that I would not be walking again. They also told me that I was gonna remain with a left side deficit and that I was not going to regain full strength. I remember looking at them and saying, really? Okay. Then I thought to myself, and I said, girl, you're a dreamer, you dream way too much to actually believe any of this can happen. And I am a dreamer. Today, I am walking, I am moving, I have a slight deficit on my left arm, but it doesn't stop me from living life itself. So what I'm trying to tell you is, dare to dream. Dream your wildest dreams. You can climb the highest mountain or you can drown in a teacup if you find a big enough teacup. But if anyone ever tells you that you can't do something, you look at them and you tell them what? I'm doing it right now. 
You got this, man. It all starts with you. And you got this. Therapy's in session, y'all. Peace and love. Thank you.